Hello friends, welcome back. This is a part of Azure Tips and Tricks videos and in this video I'm going to show you how you can determine the storage account pricing so you have some better understanding of what you use and how much you'll end up paying. This is very important whether you do it for your personal or when you are in an organization and working as an employee. These kind of things will help you to progress and grow and give suggestions to your team. So without delay, come let's get started. So before we get into much deeper right so let's first understand there are some online access tiles there are hot coal cold and archive those are the four uh, tiles that is available as of we speak today now so when your data is stored in an online access tile like in a hot cool or cold users can access it immediately the hot air is the default one and is the best choice for the data that is in the active use when the data are like used actively, hot air is the best. The cool and cold tire is ideal for data that is accessed less frequently, but that is still must be available for reading and writing. Archive is something that it's completely like you cannot access it immediately. So let's take a look at the same thing in the pictorial representation. So if you look at this, this video, this if you look at this this was something uh, you know based on many months before but right now instead of cool they have brought one more thing called cold so hot cool cold archive okay so imagine there's one more we have to squeeze in between cool and archive so what we can understand is default is the hot followed by cool cold and archive so Cool difference, cool and cold differences. The cool and colds are both infrequently accessed, which means uh, you don't, you know, access uh, those kind of files frequently. The difference is cool has 30 days to store and cold has 90 days to store. Archive data must be like at least 180 days. Okay. Now, if you look at this one below, hot tire is low cost when you access it and it will be cost more when you access so frequently and more with the data same thing right based on like for hot air the, the more you store it is going to be costing more but for the less you store it is going to be very fast and it is going to be less cost for you okay so that's the uh, you know representation here but coming back to this main part of this video we will go through six important things that will determine your cost. So the first thing is the performance tire. We saw about those tires, right? The hot, cool, cold and archive. So the blob storage tire determines the amount of data stored and the cost for storing that data. As the performance tires gets cooler, the per gigabyte cost decreases. You see, if you're storing a movie in a hot tire, it's going to cost you more. But if that movie is not accessed so frequently, you want that movie to be there you want the data to be there but you can move to cool or cold the uh, the, the movie is going to be like a couple of gigabytes so storing it in cool or cold tire is not going to cost you more okay so that's a typical example the second thing is the data access cost see data access charges increases as the tire gets cooler the, for data in the cool and archive states like the tires you are built per gigabit data access charge for the read so let's say same thing right so you have a document that is already moved into cool or cold or archive or uh, tires if you're trying to access that but you know immediately if the, the document size is more then it is going to be charged based on the gigabyte uh, read access because you know microsoft is like storing that somewhere else and because you requested to read the file microsoft have to do a lot of works to bring that file back online that's why the cost is increasing so the, the thumb thumb rule is other than hot if you're moving to a different tires make sure they are infrequently accessed files now the third part is the transaction cost there is a per transaction charge for all the tires. The charge increases as the tire gets cooler. Okay. So from hot towards cool, cold archive, number of times that you do a transaction, it increases. Fourth one is geo replication data transfer cost. Imagine this charge only applies to the account. So this charge only applies to the account that have geo replication configured including grs and ra grs 
Geo-replication data transfer incurs a per gigabyte charge. What does geo-replication mean? Geographically replicated. It's not going to be in one data center in a particular region. For example, if you have a data in US, the data can be also present in uh, North America or uh, you know South Asia, which is India. So, which means it's geographically replicated. The same data is replicated in a different geographic location of the data center of the Microsoft. So in those kind of things, again, these kind of transaction charge is going to be cost. The next one is outbound data transfer cost. So you have data in your storage account and you decided to move that to a different place, which is not Azure. So what they are saying is outbound data transfer, the data that's transferred out of an Azure region from one region to a different region that will incur the billing for the bandwidth usage on a per gigabit basis. All right, the next one is the outbound data transfer cost. See, outbound data transfer, which is like data that's transferred out of an Azure region, incur the billing for bandwidth usage on a per gigabit basis. This billing is consistent across the general purpose V2 storage account. So what basically they're saying is, you have your um, data residing in a particular region, like we said, let's say US East, that's one region, right? Now you're moving the data within the region is different, but outside the region, which means um, completely to a west of US or anywhere in the South East India, somewhere other than the current region, then the data, like let's say you have 100 gigabyte, 100 gigabyte data is now transferred from one region to another region for a valid reason, but you're going to incur some cost. That's what it is saying. And then the last one is the changes to the storage type. So if you change your account storage type from cool to hot, which means we're reverting. So we put some data to the cool, which means uh, infrequently accessed, then you decided to move back to the hot tire because uh, now there is a situation where the data is now going to be frequently accessed. Now you will incur a charge equal to reading all the data existing in the storage account. So similarly, from moving the data from hot to cool incurs a charge equals to writing all the data into the cool tire. So that also we should understand. So based on all of these concepts only, you know, you will uh, see how the data is uh, stored and how it is accessed and how much the cost is incurring for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is part of Azure Tips and Tricks. We learned the cost saving manner and how the costs are determined for the storage account in the Azure. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel, share this with your friends, have your wonderful comments in the comment section. A lot of other videos are on the way and stay tuned. I'll see you in the next video, guys. So there are a lot of videos on the way. Stay tuned. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Happy coding!